well looking at the use of bile within the digestive system. Now, first thing to bear in mind is that bile is produced within the liver. Okay. Once it's been produced within the liver, it then moves to and is stored within the gallbladder. From the um, gallbladder, it's then released and mixed with the um, contents of the stomach. Which, as we know, the stomach contains highly acidic um, conditions containing a lot of hydrochloric acid. Now, these enter, this then enters the small intestine. So the acidic um, acid and um, food mixture from the small intestine mixes with the bile, which is alkaline. Now, what this does is it neutralizes the hydrochloric acid. So it means that the hydrochloric acid won't have any damaging effect on other um, organs within the digestive system as it moves through. And it also means that enzymes in the small intestine can work at their optimum pH. Now, the other purpose, as well as neutralizing um, stomach acid, is that bile also emulsifies fat. Now, what this means is that fat is made up of large droplets. And the bile surrounds it. And what it does is it breaks, it breaks alongside lipase, the fats down into tiny droplets, smaller droplets that are easier to be absorbed by the digestive system. And these tiny droplets, because they've been broken down, means they have a larger surface area. And because fat droplets have got a larger surface area, it means that the lipase can act on them faster. And then the lipase because it can act faster, it can produce um, fatty acids and glycerol. Just in case. No, go. Sorry about that. So it can produce fatty acids and glycerol more easily. And so what we've got there is an overview of the two main purposes of bile. One, to help neutralize stomach acid, 
and two, to emulsify fat and break them down into smaller droplets to allow lipase to act on the fat and produce fatty acids and glycerol more quickly. So, thank you for watching our tutorial.